Welcome back to the Lantern Rouge YouTube channel. In the new year, you may have noticed a few changes around the place. HD 1080p footage, no potato cam. Current race highlights being uploaded within a day or so of the stage ending. And I thought it was pretty obvious what was going on. I even included a disclaimer at the end of the relevant videos. But a fair few people have been asking me what the go was, so I thought I may as well spell it out in an announcement video. But a bit of background about me. Some of you probably already know this because I've been mentioning it here and there across the last two years. But for new viewers, here's some background. I'm based in Brisbane or Gold Coast in Australia. I went to uni, did law and finance degree, then started work about four, four and a half years ago, maybe five years ago, uh, as a lawyer at Allens, which is a firm in Britain, in Australia. Really enjoyed it, was really challenging. We worked on some pretty big deals like the West Connects privatization, did a lot of like projects and infrastructure work, both procurement, a lot of public and private M&A, uh, energy and resources work was a lot of it, particularly in the Brisbane office. There's a lot of that work as well as uh, electricity work. I was like, an el electricity regulation was the thing I kind of was specializing in. So there's the sorts of things I was doing there, like stock standard M&A work, but for infrastructure assets, litigation in the energy and resources space, and also like drafting, you know, new regulations or laws. But it just wasn't something I wanted to do long term. I didn't really see myself as a law firm partner in 10, 15 years or so. So I moved in-house, but then the channel started blowing up and the podcast, and I quit my job, which was a good job as well in-house at ASX Top 30 Company as legal counsel to become a cycling journalist or a digital media person, whatever you want to call me, in Australia whilst COVID was happening. So not the best time to quit my job and just have a YouTube channel. But anyway, I quit my job, started a company and got a fair few people were interested in it already, which was helpful. And I remember during the Tour de France last year, I started the podcast. Podcast is already, I don't know if it's the biggest cycling podcast in the world. If you aggregate the YouTube views and podcast plays already, it's certainly up there. But people were saying on YouTube, well, why, why aren't you doing your normal highlight videos for the Tour de France? And I was like, well, the obvious reason is I don't have a license to do that. Uh, but I was like, maybe I should. Is it possible? So that was my big focus from the end of last year. The entity that owns the Tour de France and their distribution rights and a lot of other races is Amory Sport Organization. A lot of you know about them already. And so the company finalized a deal at the start of this year for a non-exclusive license to show highlights on the channel of all the current races, which you can see here. You've already seen Provence, Paris-Nice, got Catalonia coming up in a few days. Watch out for the preview video for that. Peter Sagan is going. I can't wait for that race. It's got some really interesting profiles. We've got Paris-Roubaix, men and women's. Cannot wait for the preview videos and highlight videos of them, the first ever women's edition of Paris-Roubaix. Flesh on men and women's. Liège, men and women's. Eshmore, Frankfurt, I think that date might have been postponed. Tour de Hungary, Quite looking forward to that, Attila Volta. Please help me with the pronunciations of the various stages. I'll reach out to you in a second. Gratum de Dauphiné, hard mountainous route once again. The Tour de France, the big one, as well as the course by the Tour de France. San Sebastian, men and women's, Arctic race of Norway. The Vuelta as well. Deutschland Diner Tour, can't wait for that. I think Remco and Thomas were attacking each other in like 2019 in that race. The Theratizit Madrid Challenge by the Vuelta, women's uh, stage race as well as Parry Tour. So that's a fair few races. We'll have highlights of all of them, as well as we cover every World Tour and Women's World Tour race on the Lantern Rouge Cycling Podcast, as well as we did the Healthy Aging Tour. It's not a Women's World Tour race, but it's a big stage race, so we covered that last week as well. You've seen we also had UAE Tour highlights on the channel. That sort of came about by chance. I'm obviously at the moment trying to reach out to various race organizers like Bass Country, etc., trying to get a similar non-exclusive license to show the race highlights. Because as you know, and this is what I realized when I was making the videos in the last two years, it's not just about the big races. There are so many people interested in the stories of smaller races or races that don't have as big a name. Like, for example, pretty sure Rai have the exclusive worldwide rights to uh, races like Trofeo La Guelia and GP Industria and Artigiano. That was a couple of weeks ago. And there wasn't really an English language feed, a commentary feed anywhere. I, don't, I haven't seen any English language highlights on YouTube but those races were so exciting, La Guelia in particular, and it had names and its strongest title ever. It had Tour de France champion Egan Bernal attacking uh, with Molimar Van Sevenant, who else am I missing? The Italian guys, Ciccone and Co. as well. Those races were so good. Landa, and yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people that are interested in that. And whilst everyone might not like my style, I think the numbers show that what I put up and the way it's curated and edited and commentated, it generates a lot of interest and it's very effective for getting reach for that race, particularly if that race 
doesn't have the biggest name. If you want to support the channel because we are going to the moon, the best thing you can do or helpful thing you can do is subscribe to the channel. I think over half the viewers aren't subscribed to the channel. You can like the videos. There's also channel membership. Obviously the race rights aren't free and I'm probably going to be looking for sponsors for say the Vuelta and Tour de France highlights at least. But I want to see how far channel membership can go. Got the Lantern Rouge Discord server where we discuss every race in real time, every day. Everyone's already discussing and arguing about who's going to win Milano San Remo. And if you are a member, the community tab on my YouTube channel is the best way to see updates and various links to things for the members. But otherwise, I want to give a big thank you to you, the viewer and the audience. If you've watched the videos over the last two years or liked and commented on it, I love all the comments. I love the beef. I love arguing with people about races because uh, I get things wrong all the time too. Flip again yesterday, let's not talk about that. But that support has mean that it's been financially possible to go out and procure licenses like the ones I've described. I've obviously been working in the wrong time zone for the last two years, which has obviously taken a bit of a toll on me, particularly when I was working a full-time job as a lawyer. But regardless, I'm moving to Europe in May. I have to, I can't keep covering races and doing a podcast at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, then editing it afterwards, can't do it anymore. So in May, before the Giro, we'll be moving to Europe. But I hope this answered a lot of your questions that you might have had about the channel direction, what's been happening on it. If you want to follow sort of the uh, slightly more unhinged version of things I put up, I obviously put up one minute shorts of the, the race highlights on Instagram sometimes. It's been a great stage with questionable music choices or on, Insta, on my Insta story is often where I notify people on at the Lantern Rouge about you know what's going on or about some stupid bets I've put up. But if you've still got some questions, I'll be doing a 100k subscriber. It's coming in a couple of weeks or maybe even after this video if people subscribe. Uh, Q&A, 100k subscriber Q&A live stream uh, where you can ask questions uh, and I'll have, again, Instagram is where I'll probably put up the details of when that will be. But with all that new information, I want people to comment down below how many subscribers will the channel finish with on the December 31st, 2021, knowing what you know now about the content plan. Whoever gets the closest number will, I don't know, I'll find some sort of gift or announcement for them when it gets close to that date. But I hope you're well, and I'll see you with the Catalonia preview in a couple of days. Ciao.